spongy buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a very basic cross shape in Photoshop. Now, you go over here to the custom shapes tools and various rectangle tool, you'll notice there's no cross shape. It'd be really nice if Photoshop added a whole range of different shapes that you could modify as like live shapes. Sadly, that's available in some tools, like Affinity Photo, but not in Photoshop. Now, what you can do to get around that, just go up to the rectangle tool and just create a very basic and just rectangle and make certain it's set to shape. Of course, you could set it to the other option, which is pixels, but then of course you just get on the current layer and then you, anyway, you can't add fills and strokes and things. That's the reason for this. And also you can actually define it as a custom shape. So what you can do then is just go back to the rectangle tool and then just add another across that way. Very basic, and you put it, position it how you want, and I'm just going to position it there. You've got various alignment tools, so you can actually, if you want, just make sure you've got it aligned like that. You obviously don't want it in the center of it be a plus shape. So there you've got your basic custom shape cross. Now, if you want to actually define it as a custom shape, you'll notice you can't do that straight away. So way around that, just go up to a layer and combine shapes, unite. Again, edit, you still can't do it. So that's a typical thing. So just go down to the custom shape tool and now edit and define custom shape. Now you might also notice there's actually lines there between. So what you want to do when that's that option there, shape and you can look up here and you can use the merge shape components. You'll notice, it's okay. Now, edit and define custom shape and there's the actual custom shape so once you've actually got that of course you can modify that further as well you don't have to go with just that so you can obviously modify the color so just go there and maybe just say have a different fill maybe set the stroke and that's why i'm saying about the uh, instead of doing it as a pixel as a fill you can actually set and give the stroke now also another advantage of the vector vector layer it can be any size which is a useful thing so you can also go and select individual parts of it so you can just select that so if you want to modify the individual points make it a bit more sort of slightly different just select that and move that around and select that and so on, so on. You can basically, and then of course, once you've actually got that, you can also go to edit and define custom shape, and you can actually save that as a custom shape as well. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.